don't really know where to start. I want to make this a short film. If you could see what I'll, I've got set up just to get that picture of that tube, uh, you wouldn't believe it. I, I've got little sticks, pieces of paper, uh, boards. I got all kind of things piled up underneath the uh, rifle rest and I'm trying to find a tripod where I can get straight down the tube uh, is just been a nightmare. That's as close as I'm going to get. I ain't fooling with it. But I wanted you to see what it looks like, what the reticle looks like, when you look down into it at the bore scope once it's installed on the end of the barrel. That's the picture that you look at. Then you use your elevation ring and windage ring on your scope to bring it all in line, and I'll show you an example to make it more clear. Bring it all in line and get it squared. But uh, that's what you look at when you look through the scope. You see a picture like that. It's the bore scope is bore sight is nothing but a grid. And now I'll get back to showing you how this is all set Child, up. This is a uh, bore sight kit. This is, I said Barska, it's a BSA. It comes with the different arbors from 17, 22, 6 millimeter, 25, 6.5, 27, 7 millimeter. The one that I'm using now for a 308, 32, 338, 35, 3. 75, 44, 45, and so on. The picture that you were looking at, that you'll be looking at, will look like this. Okay? That bore scope is just a grid. This other is the scope rectangle. Okay? And what you do is you adjust your windage and your elevation this grid has bold lines and you adjust it to where it's overlaid perfectly on the grid on the bold lines. When you do that the scope is foresighted. That will get you on paper. Then you take it to the range and fire shots you'll be on paper don't worry about that and you zero it in on the target and let me show you what the bore scope this particular bore scope I'm not fond of it there it is it's sitting in the end of the barrel and the rifle is in a rifle rest I'm not fond of it because it's not that sturdy in the end. It, you know, it, it swivels around. This thing really needs a, a level up here so you know when it's perfectly straight. You don't really know. And it doesn't fit in there as tight as it should. But that's what you uh, will be looking at here in a minute. And I've got to take, you know, it's a, I've got to take and take that little tripod, take this camera off, put it on that tripod, and then try to get it level where it will shoot down the tube of that scope there. And then we'll consider this. A closed chapter and we'll take it to the rifle range later and we'll zero it appreciate you watching bye